Hi guys, Dane here, and today I thought I'd do a little bit of a life update and a little bit of a chatty video, I suppose, along with kind of what my plans are for BookTube moving forwards. I mean, in terms of my channel, it's pretty much the same old, same old. I'm still going to be doing regular content, doing my wrap-ups and my hauls, doing tags, reviews, etc. Uh, I might do a little bit more AuthorTube stuff as well, we'll see. Um, I'm going to try and consciously tab out more books to review as well. When I'm actually editing my videos that sort of serves a double purpose as well because I'm simultaneously adding stuff to my eBay store. I will link to that down below. It's got tons of books on it because I'm basically downsizing loads. Cat, why are you attacking me? Ow! I've not got my hoodie on. It hurts when you do it when I haven't got my hoodie on. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm selling a bunch of my old books on eBay. I'm basically trying to downsize my collection. Um, for several reasons really, I mean, I could use the money to be honest, I want to try and build up some more savings so that I don't have to worry about tax and other stuff, um, I mean, and there's some practical stuff, like I want to get a, a new electric guitar, I want to get a laptop computer as well, um, but also I need the space really, I mean, hopefully, this is kind of bringing me more onto my life and general plans, but Hopefully within the next six months to a year I'm going to move out of this place. So I want to try and get rid of as much stuff as I can before then just to make it easier to move. I might even put my stuff into storage. So this is where the next part of the plan comes in. And I'm almost running it past you guys to get feedback because I haven't spoken to either of my parents about this and it may rely on their help. Basically my mum is retiring towards the end of this year. Um, my dad, he owns some properties, he's got two in Spain and one in France, and so what I'm thinking is, after the summer's over here, and I'll do a lot of music and stuff and whatnot, um, so maybe see if my mum can look after Biggie for three months or so, I can put my stuff into storage, and then go and stay at my dad's properties, preferably the one in France, but, I mean, because I can speak a bit of French, I can't speak Spanish, although everyone in both of those places pretty much speaks English, but you know, um, and I could use that as like a writing retreat, but I'd also be freelancing. Hopefully it'd let me stay there rent free. It would be off season as well. And then again, I could just build up a little bit of li little bit of money to have uh, saved so that then kind of come 2021, I'll be sort of looking to settle back down again. Um, I, and that's another thing is I don't know where I'm going to end up living. So I've got choices really, because I could go literally anywhere because I can work from anywhere with an internet connection. Um, I could move back to Tamworth in the Midlands, which is where I grew up, and that has the advantage of it's like a cheaper cost of living, the rent's cheaper, like for the rent I pay for this place, I could get a two-bedroomed house with a garden. Uh, and I would be closer to my family, but I don't have that many friends in Tamworth. Wickham's kind of the opposite, where I know loads of people here and I can go to pretty much any pub on any night, pretty much, or any, if I go to town I could probably wander around and find some people I know. Um, and actually, I've been relying on that a lot recently. So I recently went through a breakup as well. Um, so I, that's why I was learning French, because I had a French girlfriend. But now I don't have a French girlfriend. Uh, je suis single. <laughs> um, but yeah, so where was I going with this? Oh yeah, so because of that, I've been like relying on my friends a lot more and going out and doing a lot more live music recently. Well, I've basically been, if I'm at home, I'm working, uh, and if I'm out, it's like an open mic or something or other like that. So there's normally two to three things happening a week for me to look forward to. Been helping out at the art centre, been volunteering there, uh, and also like there I'm learning skills to run a bar and that sort of thing. So I've learned how to like change the pumps and, uh, you know, all this stuff. So, so that's quite cool, and again, that could serve me in good stead wherever I end up. You know, you can always fall back on bar work. So there is that. In terms of my writing, I wanted to give you a little bit of an update on that. And basically, I've been kind of getting back into it. Sorry, the sun's not behaving itself out there, so the lighting's weird. Basically, with my writing, I've been getting back into that as well. So um, I've actually finished my rewrites of my book called Meat. So that's my first draft of edit. First round of edits has gone through, so I'm just reading back through that before I send that back off. Um, I've finished the final round of rewrites on Jailed, my short story collection. So I just need to pre-free that. That'll come out as book number three in the Lightfold series. Uh, so we've got Driven, which is already out. And what was going to be called Netflix and Kill is now being called The Tower Hill Terror for copyright reasons and trademark reasons. That should be out in uh, April, so we've got that to look forward to. And now I'm also getting back to doing my first draft of a book called Monsters of Rock as well, which is... It's basically like Lord of the Rings meets Spinal Tap. So that's pretty much where I'm at with everything. In terms of my short-term plan for the next two to three months, I'm going to um, uh, uh, 
I'm going to depression group therapy just to try and work on that some more and um, yeah I've been up in my medication as well because you know mental health mental health keeps costing me relationships in a way basically you know uh, but it, it has done for my entire life I think that's the thing with mental health you know you hurt the people you're closest to um, but yeah so I'm working on all that and hopefully the summer coming in is going to help with that I've been um, training up at the radio. I'm actually supposed to be going tonight for um, Wick Wickham Sound, which is like our local community radio station. So I'm hopefully going to be having a weekly show about the arts on that. It's going to be for an hour between 7 and 8 p.m. You can listen online, live, and also on demand on catch-up, so that'd be cool. And, uh, yeah, and I'm just going to be working on selling my books uh, and uh, working as hard as I can, doing a bunch of overtime and stuff to put some money aside and um, playing a lot of live music and stuff so that's the plan so yeah that's about it for this life update video really let me know in the comments your thoughts on stuff like should i see if i can move to france slash spain for two to three months also if i do that i can potentially work for two to three months save some money and then go traveling in the new year you know go back for christmas then go traveling in the new year so it's just a thought anyway uh yeah as always let me know what you think in the comments hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video hit subscribe for more and i'll see you soon for another bookish video thanks a lot Bye-bye.